Hello learners, greetings of the day. This video we have designed in order to discuss one of the sound waves that are nothing but the ultrasonics. Depending upon frequency, sound waves are divided into three categories. Uh, sound waves which are having frequency less than 20 Hz, they are known as infrasonic sounds. Uh, creatures like uh, cats, dogs and various animals, they can hear that frequency sound waves. The sound waves which are having the frequency uh, 20 Hz to 20 kilohertz, uh, they are termed as audible range sound waves. Uh, we human beings are able to hear the sound waves of that frequency. The sound waves which are having frequency greater than 20 kilohertz, they are termed as ultrasound. You can see uh, the creatures like insects, bats, they can hear that frequency sound waves. So this is the uh, classification of uh, sound waves depending upon their frequency. We have seen uh, what are the ultrasonic sound waves. Now we will see what are the properties of these ultrasonic sound waves. So the first property says that uh, ultrasonic sound waves, these are the highly energetic mechanical waves. Then uh, ultrasonic sound waves, they are having the property, they can show the properties like reflection, refraction and absorption in the material. Ultrasonic waves can be transmitted over a large distance uh, without any loss of energy. Ultrasonic sound waves produce intense heating effect when they are passed through substance like liquid. Related to uh, their propagation in the liquid, uh, this property says that whenever ultrasonic sound waves are uh, passed through liquid, transmitted through the liquid, they produce cavitation effect in the liquid. Also, one of the important property is that uh, the ultrasonic uh, sound waves, they cannot travel through vacuum. They require medium for their propagation. The speed of ultrasonic sound waves is uh, depending upon the medium through which it is traveling. If the medium is more dense, then the speed will be higher. Now, to uh, discuss the production methods, ultrasonic sound waves are produced by two methods. One is piezoelectric method and another one is magnetostriction method. So what are the methods that we will discuss now? Magnetostriction method is uh, based upon the principle of magnetostriction. And uh, that magnetostriction principle was given by the scientist Joule uh, in 1847. So what that magnetostriction principle is, if uh, a magnetic field is applied to the ferromagnetic rod, uh, which is made up of materials like iron or nickel, then there will be a small elongation or contraction in its length. So, this statement is nothing but the magnetostriction effect. The change in length will be in the order of 1 ppm. To produce ultrasonic waves by magnetostriction method, a uh, transducer oscillator circuit is to be designed. For that purpose, a ferromagnetic rod is selected. It is of, it is of length AB. It is clamped at the middle. A DC source is connected across the ends of that ferromagnetic rod. A inductor coil L1 is bound over the rod at point A. A variable capacitor is connected to inductor coil L1 in a parallel so that it forms a LC circuit. Another inductor coil is selected and wound uh, over the ferromagnetic rod at point B. The connections of that inductor coil are made to a transistor. Uh, here the NPN transistor is selected. The input from uh, inductor coil is connected to the base of the transistor. 
uh, emitter of the transistor is grounded and collector is connected to the LC circuit through a uh, emitter. The rest of the connections are made. Here you can see a uh, battery is connected and supply of that battery is given to the LC circuit. Now what happens? Whenever we apply the electric signal to the ferromagnetic rod, it develops the magnetization across it. And due to that magnetization, by the virtue of magnetostriction effect, there will be vibrations in the rod. As we have seen the magnetostriction effect on the previous slide, whenever a magnetization developed across the ferromagnetic rod, there will be some kinds of vibrations into the environment. Now, these vibrations are tuned with the help of variable capacitor which is provided here. By tuning the value of variable capacitor C, we can tune the resonance of the circuit. If the resonance is created, means if the natural frequency of the rod gets matched with an uh, applied electrical signals frequency, then we can see there will be generation of ultrasonic waves. So, th this is the basic principle which is involved in the production of ultrasonic waves by magnet restriction effect. The method that we have seen, it is having some kinds of advantages. Uh, so, one is magnet restriction materials uh, used in this method are uh, very easily available and they are inexpensive. Uh, the oscillator circuit is very simple to construct and uh, the large output power can be generated with this particular method. But there are uh, several limitations. So, one major drawback of magnetostriction method is that the frequencies that can be generated by this method, they are only up to 3 megahertz. So, with this method, you can uh, produce the ultrasonic sound waves. Uh, who will have the frequency less than 3 megahertz. Another uh, drawback is that it is not possible to have a constant signal uh, uh, single frequency here because uh, rod depends on the uh, temperature and the degree of magnetization. And uh, another drawback is that uh, as the frequency is inversely proportional to the length of the rod, uh, to increase the frequency in this case, the length of the rod should be decreased and it is not possible uh, for the given circuit. So, these are some of the disadvantages and to overcome that disadvantages, we need to go for another method. The another method that can be used for the uh, generation of ultrasonic sound waves is uh, piezoelectric method. Uh, this piezoelectric method is based on the principle of piezoelectric effect. Uh, two French physicists, Pierre Curie and uh, Paul Jean Curie, discovered the piezoelectric effect in 1880. So, you can see the images of that two scientists over here. What that piezoelectric effect says, uh, it says uh, whenever there are some materials, uh, that materials are known as piezoelectric materials. Quartz is the well-known example of piezoelectric material. So, whenever a mechanical um, pressure is applied to piezoelectric materials, then there will be generation of charges across it. The development of charges as a result of mechanical deformation is known as direct piezoelectric effect. Uh, animation will give you idea about that. The crystals that exhibit piezoelectric effects are known as piezoelectric crystals. Uh, one example that I have already given uh, is a quartz crystal along with that uh, ammonium phosphate. PZT means lead, zirconate, titanate uh, are the examples of piezoelectric materials. To produce the ultrasonic waves, uh, basically uh, we need to use the inverse piezoelectric effect. Uh, how that can be used that we will see now. 
the oscillator circuit uh, which is used for the production of ultrasonic waves uh, by piezoelectric method uh, is shown over here uh, as like previous case a transistor is uh, selected over here a lc circuit is connected to the base of the transistor emitter end is grounded uh, inductor coil l2 is connected to the uh, collector end of the transistor then a high tension battery uh, is uh, taken uh, which is connected to the L2 and L1. Uh, another inductor coil L3 is selected here and by the virtue of mutual induction the signals are applied to the quartz crystal. Here you can see a quartz crystal is selected and it is kept uh, in between two parallel plate, two parallel metal plates A and B. Uh, due to the applied electrical signals by the mutual induction, uh, mechanical vibrations will get generated across the crystal plate. And this is nothing but the inverse piezoelectric effect. Uh, whenever an AC signal is applied uh, across the piezoelectric uh, crystal, uh, it vibrates at the frequency of the applied voltage. The vibrations uh, will be of maximum amplitude uh, when the natural uh, resonant frequency of the crystal which is determined by the physical dimensions and by the uh, way the crystal is uh, cut, uh, the frequency of vibrations is given by the equation. Uh, the frequency of oscillator uh, circuit is equal to frequency of the vibrating rod. The frequency uh, is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root Kc is equal to 1 upon 2t under root pi by rho. If uh, this uh, condition gets satisfied, there will be generation of resonance and due to that resonance, we can get the ultrasonic sound waves. In order to tune the resonance, we need to vary the value of variable capacitor uh, C1. Here in this equation, the T stands for the length uh, or th uh, thickness of the crystal plate. Y is nothing but the Young's modulus of that uh, quartz crystal. Rho is the density of the crystal. So, this is how the ultrasonic waves are produced in the piezoelectric method. Now, we will see uh, the differentiating point in between a magnet restriction method and piezoelectric method. In magnet restriction uh, method, the principle that we follow for the production of ultrasonic sound waves is magnet restriction effect. In case of piezoelectric method, we follow piezoelectric effect. Materials uh, that are used in uh, magnet restriction method are ferromagnetic materials. Uh, the examples are nickel and iron. In case of piezoelectric method we need to use uh, piezoelectric materials the example of piezoelectric materials is quartz crystal uh, this is the circuit uh, oscillator circuit that we have seen in case of magnet restriction method and here you can see the circuit uh, piezoelectric oscillator circuit uh, which we have seen the earlier the frequency that is generated in magnet restriction method is uh, will be in the range of 20 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz whereas in case of uh, piezoelectric method we can uh, uh, produce ultrasonic sound waves who are having frequency greater than 1 megahertz in case of magnet restriction method signal uh, sing, uh, single frequency oscillations are cannot be generated uh, whereas that is possible in case of piezoelectric method. Uh, the equation for frequency or for resonance we have seen uh, in case of magnet restriction method is f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root L1 C1 uh, is equal to 1 upon 2 L under root Y by rho where uh, the important factor is L. L is nothing but the length of ferromagnetic rod. In case of piezoelectric method, the frequency uh, equations uh, are 1 upon 2 pi under root uh, L1 C1 is equal to 1 upon 2t uh, under root y by rho. Here t is nothing but the thickness of the quartz crystal.
Now after the uh, production methods, we will uh, talk about the applications of uh, ultrasonic sound waves. One of the application, important application is nothing but the uh, sonar. Uh, sonar stands for uh, sound navigation and ranging. Uh, in this uh, particular method, uh, this is basically used to measure the depth of the sea. And in this case, uh, what happens, uh, so, uh, sonar pulses uh, are released at various frequencies uh, and uh, that are transmitted with the help of transmitter uh, that goes to the bottom of the sea and from bottom they get reflected back and they are collected by the receiver. So, uh, with the help of this system uh, in submarines, we can see the depth of the sea can be calculated. Another uh, application of uh, ultrasonic sound waves is the cleaning or mixing of the substances. As we have seen in case of uh, uh, one of the property of ultrasonic sound waves is that they produce the cavitation effect when passes through uh, liquids. Uh, that important property is used to clean uh, the fiber bodies or various kinds of materials. The vacuum created uh, in these spaces produces strong pull uh, on the exposed solid surface and hence the dust uh, particles or dirt particles or um, uh, some uh, grease materials which are there on the surfaces, uh, they get detached by this cavitation effect and like this. Uh, for the cleaning purpose, we can use the ultrasonic uh, waves. Another important application uh, is uh, in the medical field, ultrasonic waves are used uh, for the diagnosis and treatment. Uh, we can use ultrasonic sound waves, then for bloodless surgeries, then teeth diagnosis, and one of the important applications is ultrasonography. Uh, in all these uh, medicine related treatments, uh, ultrasonic waves are having high amount of importance. Then uh, whenever a, uh, a submarine or ship propagate uh, into the sea, uh, uh, there are the chances of accidents if the uh, fish or any other material uh, living creature uh, comes in the path. So, in order to have the proper propagation of submarines, basically the fish finder technique is used. And fish finder technique is uh, very well similar to the uh, sonar technique. So, the same principle is followed over here. So, fish finder is one of the application uh, of ultrasonic sound waves.